Hello everybody. Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, got uh, something a little different today. Uh, I want to try something. I got this in my head and I haven't been able to get it out. Um, so today's the day that I'm going to do it. I am going to do a pour directly in the center of a slinky. I'm going to wrap it around itself and I'm going to use one of these binder clips and I'm going to clip that together and then I'm going to pour right in the center. So for this uh, experiment I've gone with my uh, trusty old master's touch. Um, I've got my cobalt blue, um, lake blue, I've got my violet, light magenta, phthalo blue, viridian, are the colors that I mixed up today and I have a few other colors that uh, were pre-made that I had. I've also got some Sargent's Copper that I had left over from the other day. So I'm going to be combining these and then pour directly in the center of that slinky. So let me bring you guys down here so we can get the canvas shot. coat down. Uh, I'm going to pour it directly through the slinky. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Hopefully something interesting will happen. So, first thing I want to do is get about two of these together. And then we're going to binder clip them. Just like that. There's my center. Trying to make sure it stays up off of the canvas. Okay. So it's going to look something like that. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but... Alright. I'm going to start with my white. And pour it straight in the center. Okay, and let that roll out of there. Now I'm going to mix my colors in in different layers
record dates on the side of the cup so that I get a good uh, good amount of coverage coming out from the spout here. those colors <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> I have run out nope nope I have one left gotta get a paper plate to put that slinky on and I lift it up <clears throat> Okay. Looky there. It's pretty cool looking, huh? Never seen anybody use one of those before, but I've been thinking about it. I sometimes I dream about different things uh, to try with these uh, acrylic pores and. Uh, I definitely wanted to do this and I've kind of been procrastinating because I didn't know what it would uh, turn out like um, but it looks pretty darn uh, cool. Alright let's hit this with a torch. And we're going to move this around. now. <clears throat> Remember we did not put any um, base coat down so this is not going to turn very fast. I have to pull this a little closer to me so I'm going to bring you up. Okay. Stretching these cells out. I'm not real fond of that copper. I think I'm going to roll that off the edge.
you think of that? First ever slinky pour. I think I really like these colors. I think they work well together. <clears throat> Alright, All right, I'm going to bring y'all in for a closer look. And then I will come back and actually, let me touch up the edges first and the corners before I forget. Absolutely gorgeous. What an amazing treat. <laughs> I really like that. All right. Coming in. You can see where those uh, edges were from the, the uh, wire from the slinky. Pretty wild. Love it. Okay. <clears throat> so, guess what? <laughs> it worked. It really worked. Um, it turned out beautiful. Uh, I love the way that it came out. And, uh, I think I'm just going to have to play with this a little bit more and see what uh, other colors that I can combine with this, but this is an actual method. This actually works, so I'm ecstatic. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, um, and we'll see you next video. Thank you very much for watching again, and pour on.